Hey, this is Dave at houseparents.com. Today we're going to talk about uh, dealing with frozen water pipes and how to prevent, how to just stop it. We, as you can see here uh, from the hole in the wall there, we've had frozen water pipes uh, in the past. Uh, one winter ago, we, this, the pipes froze up and we cut into there to try to figure out how far, how far it went, how, how much was the extent of the freezing. Got it thought out, everything was fine. Well, this year, had it happen again. This time it was a bit of an accident. Garage door got left open. This house is on a slab, and so the water heater, plumbing, all that is inside the garage. Uh, there's no basement to put it in. So we had, the garage door got left open, and uh, it was happened to be super cold, and everything froze. And when we started thawing it, the water meter started dripping. In a previous video, we can show you how that happened, but in what happened is the city came out, replaced the water meter, and now we want to make sure that never happens again. And so to deal with the freezing of these pipes, because it is an unheated garage, uh, we got to provide extra heat, and that's what we're going to that's what we're going to do here. As you can see, the walls are insulated, as is the garage door, but still it can get it can get pretty cold and cause that to be an issue. So heat tapes the solution to make sure that that does never happen again. You're going to need uh, electric cord, electric tape, and this stuff, which is called heat tape. This is the heat tape that we're using, and we'll have a link in the description below if you're looking for something like it. They come in all different sizes, so be sure and get the right size. They can't be too long. Uh, worst case, you can double, you can go over the pipe and come back down the other side of the pipe. Measure the length, make sure you get the right size heat tape for your particular application. This heat tape comes in various lengths, it comes with a thermostat and a plug that's lit. So uh, once, we, once we plug this in, we can see that it's active. And so what we're gonna do is we've bought the size heat tape that we need to cover this length of pipe right here. Now the first thing that they say they want you to do is make sure that you are connected to a GFCI outlet. And those are uh, in the garage, typically, uh, you have to check, but in our garages that are built out here, this house is fairly new, uh, the plugs are GFCI by code. And they want the thermostat to be around about the coldest spot. That's the thermostat, and that's gonna rest against the pipe and it'll just take the temperature of the pipe continuously. But uh, in this garage, all winter, it should be on. You can just check right up there, and uh, that, in that video right there, we used it in a uh, meter pit. It worked really well, so we're gonna try this. I, we expect this should work great uh, inside this garage. So the way to install this is to apply this thermostat to the pipe itself where it's gonna be cold, and this area right here, it's going to be perfect for that. And so I went and pre-cut some tape. If this were outside, they want you to apply the, the tape, the heat tape to the underside of the pipe. Um, but we're going to do that to the underside because we're coming back on the top side because we have only have a three foot section and this is six feet of, of heat tape. The directions are very specific in that they do not want you spiraling the cord around the pipe and they don't want you they don't want the tape itself the heat tape itself to come in contact with itself so that's something to be aware of Right, all the, that's left now is to go ahead and just tighten this up a bit, take some of the gaps for the, the, wire, the wire, so that the heat taper is touching the pipe as often as possible. All right, I decided to move the thermostat up to the top here. Because water just sits in this pipe because it's just a support, but water will run in this pipe, so that'll be better. All right, so now we just plug it in. It comes with this plastic cover on the end of the prong that you have to take off. Now plug it in and here we go. So that's how we know it's on. 
All right, that's how it looks. Everything all dialed in. You can see we've got it on both sides of the pipe, but these never touch each other. And that's, they said that's pretty important. And then this is the thermostat and it's touching the cold, probably the coldest part of the pipe. And uh, then it's plugged in and you can see it's going there. And that's a GFCI protected garage outlet. So that's what you need. And if you don't have a GFCI outlet, you can have one of those put in. And uh, again, because it's by water, that's why they want you to have it GFCI protected. Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. It helps our videos along. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. We've got lots of videos coming. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.